Hi, welcome to another edition of an Oreo Minute. Today we have Mrs. Sarah Tuttle and she teaches at Sycamore <laughs> Elementary School. Welcome. Hi. Um, so I'm a third grade teacher and um, with it being our first year of Bridges, um, everything's kind of new. And the thing that, one of the things that I love the most about Bridges is Number Corner. Number Corner is um, a 20 to 25, sometimes 30 minute because we're extending it because it's um, so good for the kids. They really get engaged with it. So this is our calendar grid observation and there are cards and they start blank every day and one of my kids jobs is to flip it over and they have to figure out the pattern and when we first started off with number corner and the calendar grid observation um it was pretty simple it was shapes it was geometry they got kind of to ease them into the pattern um and then once we get here um, you can see that it starts off with just one square inside this larger grid and then there's two and then of course they start thinking the pattern is one two and then they get to this one and they get really like wait a second it jumped to six so it took them a while for this one to figure out the pattern and I kind of helped them a little bit because I wanted them to feel successful with it I um, put, told them that this is where the pattern ended. And so one of the other things that, that we do with it is we um, kind of record everything. So we do the date that it is, um, the color, and then we start seeing the height and the length. And that's when they started realizing, oh, we're multiplying. And we had worked on multiplication, so they were able to figure it out. And it also introduced them into area. Um, which is something that they hadn't been introduced to yet. And that's one of the things I love about the calendar grid is it's introducing them into a skill where we haven't had the actual topic yet. So it's kind of a preview of what they're going to be learning. Um, and then they have to look at, a, is it a square or not? And then they have to make just other observations. Uh -huh. One of the things that I love about it is that it gets the kids talking to each other and not just cooperatively, but talking about math, which is something that they're not used to. They're not used to talking about math and the way they're thinking in math. And so I really enjoy that about them. And so sometimes they'll see things like, oh, the it's a rectangle and the numbers decreased and increased. So they're using vocabulary that they um, have been taught in previous units as well. Um, and eventually you'll see here, my writing stops and a kid takes over. And that's how I know that they are able to do it when they can lead it. And I love that about it. Um, they choose if they want to lead it or not that day and they feel comfortable enough, they're up here, they're talking, and I just am kind of a facilitator for them with that calendar grid. Um, and it changes every month, which is a really cool thing. Um, the other thing, I'm gonna swing you this way, um, is every month there's also different things with number corner activities or games. This one was called a uh, unit fraction race, and we're introducing equivalent fractions and how uh, which they haven't been taught yet in third grade. They were introduced to it in second grade, but how one half and one fourth and one eighth all relate. And that's a really tricky concept for third graders because they just see eight and think it's going to be a bigger fraction than one half because eight is bigger than two. And so they're able, we, it's a game. So they spin the game, they spin the spinner and it's however many pieces and what fraction it is. And over here, we're recording uh, the number of pieces, the size of the pieces, and the different equations. So they're adding fractions on a number line, they're multiplying fractions, which is something that they've never done in third grade before. So that's kind of number corner, and I really um, have seen a lot of growth with the kids, like I said, discussing things with each other, and I've seen their growth in their vocabulary, um, and being able to really understand how math intertwines with each other. So they're able to take area and fractions and kind of combine it all together, which is a really cool thing. And that's number corner. <laughs>